Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, July 1st. And this local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. A mental health access point for Flagler County goes from idea to reality. John Arking reports. With word earlier this month that a $245,000 grant was approved to create a mental health facility, local officials say it is a much-needed priority. State Representative Paul Renner. So the idea here is that Flagler County has not had its own facility. People that have needs have to drive to Volusia or St. John's or elsewhere out of county. And this will now give us our own resources, our own assets for people to come in that need help, whoever that is. And so I'm excited about that development, and it was a big win for Flagler County. The funding will allow several private providers, specifically Flagler Health Plus, SMA Healthcare, and Phoenix Community Services, to operate the center without having to immediately concern themselves with grant writing and fundraising. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. The city of Benell is rebounding from the COVID-19 pandemic. Amy Cherry has the story. City Manager Dr. Alvin Jackson tells WNZF they managed fairly well. Everyone practiced safe distancing, wore a mask. We went to modified schedules to help protect everyone, yet continued the awesome services that we want our residents to receive. He says they'll continue to keep a close eye on revenues and the unemployment rate. Whether or not we're going to see a lot of foreclosures, if any at all. Of course, our businesses, you can see all over town, help wanted. They are open up and they are looking for workers to come and work. So even though the establishments are open, the services are not up to the level that each individual business person would like it to be because of staffing. He added the Flankler Health Department has been a vital partner during the pandemic. They were awesome. I mean, we actually did some partnerships on some food drives. We helped with location for the vaccinations. So throughout Flagler County, it has truly been a team approach. After all that hard work during the pandemic, Flagler County government offices are taking advantage of the holiday weekend. Most offices will be closed Friday through Monday, with the exception of the Clerk of Courts office, which will have regular hours Friday. The Supervisor of Elections office is open until noon on Friday. If you want to do some reading over the holiday weekend, only the Palm Coast Main Branch Library will be open this Friday. It's closed Saturday through Monday. Are real estate sales slowing down in Flagler County? Dylan Roberts has the story. The real estate market in Flagler County is going through big changes. Host of Real Estate Matters on WNCF, Toby Tobin. People are hearing about these great high prices and saying, wow, I'm going to grab my piece of the pie. And they're, they're hearing about uh, you know, bidding wars, multiple offers. You know, you just put, throw it up there at whatever price. You'll probably have an offer within a couple of days, and you'll have multiple offers. And that's the story that's been true for several months. The realtors are telling me that's not happening so much. They're putting homes on the market, and they're, they're sitting there. And it's because the prices are too high. And we're starting to see some price reductions. Host of Real Estate Matters, Toby Tobin, also believes more houses will become available over the next month. You can- listen to Real Estate Matters on WNZF on Saturdays from 11 to 11.30 a.m. or on the Flagler Radio app. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Dylan Roberts. Being a single mom and putting food on the table has had its challenges for at least one Flagler County employee. Karen Johnson has more. Leanne Burke encountered challenges early in her life at the age of 18, being a high school senior in a rare dual enrollment program to earn an associate's degree in office administration as a single mom of three kids. But for Leanne Burke, who is now the Flagler County Procurement Analyst, she says, don't doubt just go for it. To not give up because sometimes you get in this place where you just feel like you can't do things. But then when you find the right your people and the right people, then you end up being able to do anything or think you can't. Burke adds, in addition to challenging herself, she's also an inspiration to her three children. Burke's been working in Flagler County since 2019. Now she's in the process of earning her public procurement associate designation through the National Institute of Governmental Purchasing. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. What did COVID do to social services here in Flagler County? Debbie Paradowski, Flagler County's former housing program coordinator, said in a recent interview that the pandemic caused many people to call her office for help. 
we were getting a lot of calls for rental and mortgage assistance. Mm -hmm. Um, And so what we were able to do is to use our SHIP funds to provide that assistance. Paradowski said that while other agencies could help in other ways, they did not have the housing assistance that she did. She said that she used about $63,000 of SHIP funds to help homeowners stay in their homes. This interview came from the Flagler Voice. You can hear the Flagler Voice on Saturday mornings at 8.30 or check out the podcast on the Flagler Radio app. Tomorrow, buying your first home. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.